There are many weapon classes in Phantom Forces, and many of these weapon classes have some pretty good guns, and some pretty bad guns as well. So be sure to stick until the end of the video to know the best gun in each category. But before we get started, let's see if we can get 200 subscribers this video and 500 likes. So go like and subscribe right now, we're on the road to 17k. So that's actually kind of crazy. For the assault rifles category, we have the AUG A2 of 7.62. This thing in particular is super good because it, it, it can actually three shot close range and then four shot long range. So um, it's very good at both close range and long range. It has pretty fast fire rate at 750, which isn't bad at all. And to top that all off, it has basically zero recoil. If I can show you guys there. There we go. Got one kill. But yeah, this is what the recoil looks like. So... It's very controllable. It's very powerful. There's... Okay, I'm not very powerful, but the AUG A2, it, it, it's pretty powerful. And the penetration depth is 1.65 studs, which is also above average. Average is usually about one stud. So yeah, I, dec I, I definitely recommend um, trying out the AUG A2 if you haven't already. And uh, even with the default ammo, this thing's not bad either. I think that brings it down to a three shot to five shot, which isn't too bad, but that's... You know, it's worse, uh, worse performance at long range. And I was also a pretty low rank at, uh, as well. It's rank 39, which isn't bad at all. So most of you guys probably already have this thing. But yeah, I definitely recommend checking this thing out. For the battle rifles, we actually have the AK-12 BR. This thing is also a three shot to four shot, but you don't need to hit the torso to four shot at long range. You can just hit anywhere on the body and it'll be a four shot. Then you also have the 7.62 conversion, which uh, is also pretty decent. It's 30 to 20, which is a uh, four shot to five shot, which that doesn't sound too good, but it also has a 50 round drum magazine, as you can see there. And it has 700 fire rate with a penetration depth of 1.3 studs. So there's also that. But personally, I think the default ammo is probably more worth it. I don't. Why are we on Castle Keep? I literally hate this map so bad. But yeah, I haven't used the AK-12 BR much, but I think it's pretty good. I think it's a little recoily, but it's not. It's overall not too bad. It's not. It's not necessarily that it has a lot of recoil. It just has weird recoil, you know. I think it's kind of like uh, it. It kind of goes like upside down. It's kind of like uh, the bars barrel guns. But as you can see, I mean, this thing, uh, it's it's actually really good. Let's see if I can get that guy there. Let's go. Um, but it also has uh, 20 rounds in the mag, which is not too great. But I mean, if <laughs> you know, it, it's it's not really much of a problem, in in, in my opinion. Teammate is going to get that guy. But yeah, I think the AK-12 BR is definitely the best battle rifle in the game. As you can see, it did 52 head at close range, so it does also have some kind of two-shot ability. Um, but overall, I think this thing's a very nice gun, uh, very usable, very... It's, it's just very nice. And I think at one point this actually used to be like the best gun in the game, but it, it's still really solid. For the carbines, we have the Honey Badger, which this thing, uh, specifically with Hollow Point, is also pretty good. Um, even default ammo is pretty solid, but I think default ammo, it's it, it doesn't perform as good uh, at close range with default ammo. But this thing can actually uh, three-shot close range with Hollow Point, specifically to the limb. Uh, with the like negative torso multiplier that Hollow Point brings... Oh my god. Okay, I got that guy. But yeah, as you can see, it all, it's also um, a two-shot to the head at close range. So if you hit two headshots, then, yep, yeah, they're, they're just dead. And I think that also means that you can hit one head and one limb. So if you hit one headshot and one limb shot, then that is also enough to kill them. So it's, it's, it's pretty good. Now, granted, with Hollow Point, the long-range performance is not as good. But, I mean, if you're worried about, like, longer-range performance, you could just put on default ammo and still be just fine. Let me see if I can get this guy here. Yep, there we go. That's epic. And that guy there. Hold on. He's getting away from me. There we go. Nice. But yeah, I, I've always been a big fan of the Honey Badger. It's uh, it's an OG gun, you know. This has always been a fan favorite. Um, it's been used by a lot of YouTubers, and it's been mained by a lot of people. And actually, I think this is one of the first guns I ever pre-bought. It was this and the FAMAS. Uh, those were the two first guns I pre-bought. And honestly, I think this thing's pretty good. Definitely go give it a try. There are other carbines that are kind of in the same range as this like i'd say the gross is also pretty good okay and it also has a pretty fast fire rate it's uh 800 and on top of that with the uh pretty low recoil as well it makes for a pretty good weapon for both close and medium range and in some cases like longer range with default ammo okay that guy is okay my teammate got him for the shotgun category we actually have the spaz 12 which uh the spaz 12 it's overall a very very good shotgun um the spread is actually pretty low on this thing there we go got oh i got a collateral how did that happen okay i'll take it 
Get that guy too? Okay. As you can see, I mean, it's kind of showing for itself here. It, it's really good. Spreads low. And uh, it, it actually has a very fast fire rate compared to other guns. It has 200 fire rate. Okay, I can't I can't get that guy. But I also have Flechette on here, which I would definitely recommend putting Flechette on this gun because that actually helps it out a lot in my opinion. So um, if you have this, definitely try Flechette. And this thing has uh, some other quirks and things to it that are kind of weird. Like uh, the stocks, like the stock attachments are actually in the optic category which I think is kind of weird. Yeah, here's kind of a little look at what the spread looks like. It's not much at all. Um, there's eight pellets, which is pretty nice, but in general, it's basically like a Model 870, but way faster. I actually have birdshot on here, so I'm going to take that off. Uh, but yeah, the Model 870 is basically just a worse version of the Spaz 12. And the Spaz 12, it also has a head multiplier 1.1, which is kind of low, but it also has a penetration depth of 2.4 studs of a flechette, and default is like 0.6. So that's actually pretty interesting. I didn't know Flechette took it up that much. Cool. And of course, all shotguns also have the uh, the alt aim, so that's pretty nice. Oh, we're on transit. I almost never play this map. I don't know. This is this is a weird map. I like the look of it, but I don't like how it plays. Get that guy there. Cool. Like I mean, look at this here. How can how can you not like this? Like I think I think transit is definitely one of the most uh, visually stunning maps in the game, but one of the worst performing maps in the game. It's kind of a shame actually. Okay, buddy. And for the PDW category, we have the Chris Vector, which this thing has a ton of conversions, a ton of customizability. And in specific, uh, the 0.357 SIG conversion on this thing is really good. I think it's like a one head, one limb, or something like that at close range. It's, it's definitely a three shot to, to the torso. But this thing also has pretty high velocity with this uh, this conversion. And it also has pretty low recoil. The only really downside is that you get like 17 rounds in a magazine, which is kind of poop. But overall, I think this thing is a, it's, it's very potent at close range. And I think it's actually a really nice weapon just to, to use on some close range maps like Metro. Or even maps like this, for example, like Transit. Okay, let's get that guy. Yeah, I think this thing's a, it, it, it's a very... <laughs> It's, it's very speedy, which is the thing that I always like about this, especially with this conversion, but just the vector in general is very speedy, and it's very nice. And then, of course, there's a, there's a lot of other OP guns in the PDW category, especially after the most recent PDW buff. Like, uh, just a couple just coming off the head here. MP7 is really good, UMP is really good, and the P90 is really good. Yep, there you go. Those are some also really good guns if you don't have the Chris Vector yet, because I know the Vector is a pretty high unlock. It's like level 100, which, you know, there's a lot of level 100s out there, but there's a lot of people that aren't rank 100. There's a lot of uh, newer players to the game. So yeah, definitely like the UMP and the MP7 is good to check out if you don't have this thing yet. But if you do, definitely check out the SIG conversion, which I think this thing's actually been nerfed <laughs> like once or twice since its, uh, since its peak uh, recently with all the Vector buffs. There we go, get that guy. As you can see, I mean, this thing pretty much just shreds people at close range. They just don't stand a chance. Uh, of course, unless if they have a shotgun. Bro, oh my god. For the DMR category, we have the SA58 SPR. This thing is insanely OP, especially with hollow point. This is definitely one of the best hollow point guns in the game, period. Because this thing can actually two tap anywhere all over the body up to about 60 studs so it's actually very very good especially in close range but it also performs pretty well at long range with this thing having like 500 fire rate which uh, is kind of on par with some like automatic guns which i think is kind of interesting so if you can click fast this thing's also just generally a really good even medium range gun Let's see if i can okay okay buddy yeah, even at long range, it's a two shot to the head, but it is like a four shot to the body. So that's, you know, it, it's all right. But for 500 fire rate, that makes it a lot better. And it's actually a one tap head as well up to like, uh, let's see, 90 studs or so. No, 100 studs. Yes, yeah, uh, one shot to the head up to 100 studs, which is actually kind of crazy. Yeah, let's see if I can get some kills here. Bro, what just happened? I got a 50 assist count as kill, and then I died as well. I got like a trade kill, but no, it was a trade assist, kind of. Strange. Phantom Forces Gaming. Okay. Anti-social lux. Bro, that's me. Mr. Mr. Social Anxiety. That's why my commentary is so bad. Okay, there was an enemy here. He disappeared. And... Nope. I literally can't with this enemy team right now, bro. I'm actually so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. The best Phantom Forces player of all time. Not clickbait. So real. Guy there. Why can't I? Okay. 
felt like it hit him like more than once. He's uh, head glitching. Bro, why are you moving like that? I'm not even going to try anymore. For the best sniper rifle, we have the Heck 8, which this thing, it's a uh, 28 fire rate, which isn't bad at all. Uh, well, it, it's, it's a little on the slower side, but it's not bad. Um, it has like seven rounds in a magazine, seven or eight, give or take. But uh, it's actually a one shot to the torso at all ranges, which I think that's kind of where this thing shines. And on top of that, it's also just in general... It's a very nice sniper to use. It's not too slow or sluggish, kind of like the BFG or or the M107, for example, while also giving you that like nice one-shot capability. And it's also 50 BMG, just like the M107 and BFG. Basically, it's, it's just the best 50 BMG in the game, just hands down. And I'd definitely recommend giving this thing a try. And if you don't have it, because I think it's... Yeah, it's rank 150. So if you don't have this thing, then... Try using the Intervention. I think the Intervention is pretty good. Uh, or the TRG if you have the TRG. Because uh, the TRG is also kind of on par with this thing. But yeah, I think the Hecate is overall a very good sniper rifle. But I can't really speak for it too much because I just suck at sniping in general. Like if uh, if you want some good advice, ask like an actual sniper. But in terms of statistics, I'd definitely say the Hecate's uh, it's the best sniper, just hands down. And uh, it has two uh, two studs, so two, two, I can't speak, two suppression and ten stud penetration depth. There we go. I'm Englishing today, guys. There's a guy there. I'm just going to say screw it and go in. Okay, I barely missed that guy. The best pistol is the Deagle XIX, which I really like this thing. It has like a multi-point uh, multi -point damage graph, which I'm not sure what that really does to this thing. I think that makes the damage ranges actually pretty good. Um, but it's also 400 fire rate, pretty low recoil. It's got a little bit of kick to it, but um, it, it performs really good at close range. I tagged that guy, um, especially to the torso. Uh, now, let me see if I can show this thing off a little bit. There's a guy here. Yeah, I see you back there. Don't try to hide from me. Oh my god, why did my teammate not see that guy? Yeah, here's the damage graph. Uh, it does 107 to the torso at close range, and it drops off to 100 at like 56 studs. So it can one-shot to the torso up to 56 studs, which is actually pretty uh, pretty OP, I'm not going to lie. And even at long range, it's uh, 46 to the torso and 82 to the head. So this thing can two-tap head at any range, probably one-tap head to a pretty far range as well and this also has a lot of customizability to it you can put like police barrel on here to get some better ranges as well i'm not sure if that gets rid of your multi-point graph though and some people even like to refer to this thing as the pocket sniper because it you know it performs really well at long range it's basically just like a miniature dmr just in your pocket bro yeah that's that's why transit kind of sucks I, I don't know where the enemies are going to come from okay got that guy this is the first kill i've gotten in like ages Okay, that guy disappeared. Yeah, there's a guy there. Bro, my internet's actually lagging. I swear to God. Guy here. Doink. Goodbye. Guy here. Doink. Goodbye. As you can see, I mean, this thing's pretty close. A pretty good close range beast. Okay, I got 99 on that guy. Next up, we have the best machine pistol, which is uh, really the best secondary in the game, in my opinion. This is the Ask Me. This thing is a three shot to the torso at close range, I believe, and a five shot at long range to the torso. So, I mean, this thing, it's actually really good. It's basically just a pocket PDW. Yeah, this is pretty much the closest to a primary that you're going to get, at least a automatic primary. So that's why I really like this thing. You know, as a big auto user, this is basically just a pocket primary. It's like the MAC-10 in bad business. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, this is a very, very nice gun. Can you not, buddy? Now, it also has pretty low recoil, but the torso multiplier is 1.25, so it has a huge torso multiplier, and that's kind of what pushes this thing over the edge and kind of separates it from secondary to basically a miniature primary. And I'm going to get this guy here. Nice. That's a nice kill. Let's go. I actually killed somebody. Yay. And I didn't suck at this game for five minutes. I got that guy. Let's go. And get that guy there. Awesome. I think there's another guy this way. Yep. Oh, there's a lot of people. Okay, I trade killed. And next up for the best revolver, we have the Executioner, which this actually used to be my main secondary for a long time. Like a long, long time. I really like the Executioner. It's basically like the XIX, but maybe like slightly worse damage ranges. Or maybe slightly better. Jeez, I don't know. Yeah, definitely slightly worse. It it, it doesn't one-tap to the same range as the XIX, but it, it also has better handling and it just feels a lot faster than the XIX. So it's kind of just a preference thing. Bro, hello? Okay, I got that guy. 
I missed like three just blatantly obvious shots. I'm so bad. And there's a guy there. One tapped him. As you can see, it did, it did 200 to the head. So that's kind of crazy. And uh, also one benefit of this is that it's... Bro, I can't with the BFGs today, I swear. But yeah, with uh, with this being a revolver, I'll, I'll kind of show you. Like, if you shoot, you can literally just put one bullet in and then that's good. Okay, can you not interrupt me? I'm trying to show some stuff off. Yeah, let me... Okay, my teammate got him. Ha ha. Ha ha. I'm going to pick up your gun just to make you mad. I don't blame him, though. This is literally like the best shotgun map. So was Farmlands. I actually kind of miss Farmlands low-key. I liked Farmlands. I feel like I was the only one that did. It was like such a good shotgun map. For the best gun in the other category, we have the Super Shorty, which this is basically like a... It's just a miniature shotgun, essentially. It does have uh, only a couple bullets. It's only like three, but I think this thing's, for what it is, it's kind of decent just for being a secondary shotgun. Like, if you just wanted to run like a shotgun only loadout, it's not bad. Oh, okay. I'll take it. I don't know why I have birdshot on here. I'd say flechette's probably better. Yeah. And that takes it to uh, seven pellets. What's it? It's, it's normally eight. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, this thing's, it, it's good. Uh, it's, definitely better than the other shotguns in the other category um, let me see if i okay no bro i swear to god it's actually it's actually so hectic on the hill right now there were like five grenades blowing up at the same time P people were just like shooting and dying like non-stop i'm actually gonna push over there and see if i can see if i can join the crazy hello yep goodbye i don't know what he was doing up there okay for the best melee I don't know, just pick something that looks cool. And finally, for the best grenade, we have the RGD. Yeah, the RGD 5E. This thing has a, a really big blast radius, a really big killing range, and it can actually uh, throw decently far. I'll kind of show you guys like the range there. So it's not it's not short, kind of like the, uh, the bundle charge. The bundle charge, you can't even throw it like one foot. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely the best grenade by far. As a fuse of 3.8, you can hold two, which isn't bad, but compared to uh, a lot of these other high explosive guns like the bundle charge, you can only hold one of those. The pipe bomb, you can only hold one. Simtex, you can hold three, uh, but it's sticky, so it's a, it's a little different. And uh, yeah, I mean, for, for what it is, the RGD is actually a really good grenade. And that was the best gun in every weapon class. Let me know which one's your favorite, or just let me know your favorite gun in the comments below. And let's see if we can get 200 subscribers and 500 likes this video, so go do that right now. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.